Hello, it's Wendy here from the Indigo Blue team with a quick and easy, clean and simple card using the floral stamps that were released recently. I've got things out on my table that I want to use, so I'll just go through them. I've got a couple of Distress Oxide inks. This one's mowed lawn and Broken China. I've got the brushes to apply them with. I've got the Versafine Claire Nocturne and the Superfine Clear Embossing Glaze. I've got some masking tape, the tulip from that set of floral stamps, a 6x6 card and my Vivid inks. And I think uh, that's about it. I've got some um, other stamps out in addition to this for a sentiment, but we'll come to that when it's time to, to put that on. So let's get started. So I'll move some things out of the way to make some space for working. The first thing I'm going to do is I want to put some masking tape on the card to create a band across the middle. So in order to do that, I'm just going to flip over that mat so that I can use the grid on my glass mat so that I can get it measured up and get it fairly straight. I'm not good at straight, things tend to go a bit wonky so I need all the help I can get. <clears throat> so that'll go on there and I'm going to put this masking tape about an inch and a half from the bottom. So I'll line it up about there and across to there and then the same at the top. Best laid plans. I've just run out of that roll, but fortunately I've got another one here. So that can go in the bin. So this one, because it's not exactly six inches square, I'll just move it up onto that inch mark so I can get the inch and a half on easily. Okay, so that's one inch. So on that dotted line there for the half inch and across there. So I've got a nice broad band across the middle. Okay, and what we're going to do now is we're going to put our Distress Oxide inks into that space. So we'll start with the green one. And it doesn't matter if the ink isn't going on evenly. Um, I'll just do it fairly lightly though. to give it some colour. And the little bit of texture that we're getting is going to work really well because the idea is to create something that looks a little bit like a landscape. So I'll just take that green up a little bit further. in the middle I think. And onto the broken china. Again quite lightly but I don't want that even coverage because I want it to look a little bit maybe a bit cloudy. doesn't even matter if I don't get colour everywhere, those light wispy bits will look good. I will just get colour up to the top of the band though. Okay, those to one side and take off the masking tape which you can see has given it a really good clean edge. Excellent. Okay, we'll put that to one side out of the way. Now the next thing that we would need to do would be to stamp and heat emboss the tulip stamp. Here we are. 
this one. Um, so I've already gone ahead and done that. And I've coloured it with the Vivid inks, which are nice and translucent and blend really well. So I've cut one out. They do take a little bit of fussy cutting, but it's worth it. So I've cut one out completely and I've left this one to finish off because you can see that this stamp has got a couple of little bits in the middle there that would be really hard to cut out if you were trying to get your scissors into those spaces. So I thought I'd share what I do. I learned this from somebody else and once I got the hang of it, it was a bit of a game changer really for fussy cutting. It's not something that I'm a great fan of, but sometimes you have to do it to make it look better. So what I'm going to do is where that leaf meets this stem, I'm going to cut through there, which will give me access to that piece of white card so I can cut that out. Similarly, over here, I'm going to cut through this stem here and then I can cut down and round there to get rid of that. And when everything is stuck back down again, hopefully you won't even notice the joins. So I'm going to cut through this leaf here. It's a bit like doing surgery. I'm going to cut through, making sure that there's still something that's keeping everything attached. And then cut there. And take that piece of white card out. So that's the first one done. You can see now that's sort of detached, but when you come to stick it back down again, it'll be fine. So then here, I'm going to cut through at this side. Actually, I might even cut through there because it's a bit more stable. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll cut up through here, up the side of that stem. And then round this bit. Making sure I don't cut the stem right through the stem. Get hold of that bit and just pull it out. So there we go. We've got rid of those two bits and it looks so much better. What I would probably do is just take some of my green and just dab over any bits there so that if there are any little bits of white card left the um, colour disguises it. There we go. So that's two bits of tulip done. So coming back to the card I want these to come on here and I want them to overlap somehow. So maybe by slotting those leaves underneath. Think about how I'm going to arrange them. Oops. just want it to be like a clump of tulips growing and I do want to put it down below the white into the white band I think that's about right isn't it like that
could play around with this forever. I'm trying to get some sort of balance so that we've got the, the tall ones sticking up and the smaller ones. There we go, that's probably a bit on the, a bit better. There we are, or something like that. So I'll try and keep those together and pop some glue. Be a good idea, Wendy, if you unscrewed the, the nozzle. So let's get some glue on here. I think it's because I had it open earlier and didn't close it properly so it's got a little blob of glue stuck in the top. So let's just check those again. Yep. I might need to go in with a foam pad on um, the upper ones but we'll have a look when we come to stick them down. And we will perhaps just have to go and find those pieces that I cut through and just make sure that they're glued back together again. Okay, so let's put these put these down where I want them to go without getting glue everywhere. down on those so that they actually attach and make contact. There we are. Mm. see there where I cut it. I'm just going to put that back into position and hold it down. And there we are, invisible mend. comes to a sentiment I just want something fairly simple and straightforward so again I pulled out a few stamp sets that have got something that I thought was appropriate I could use of course something like this one flowers are sunshine food and medicine to the soul from curly whirly um, oh, there are several of the stamps that were released I think in 2023 in the summertime that would be quite appropriate so there's this one from garden flowers it's got thank you love grows like nature and thinking of you floral circle has got happy birthday on it one of the christmas stamps from last year has got a couple that are quite good happy birthday and thinking of you and the climbing rose set has got a couple of nice ones as well with love 
and just for you with this rose on, but I think that's a bit too fussy for, for what I want. Anyway, what I've chosen is the happy birthday. Just keep it really simple and it will be a card that I can put in my stash for when I need one in a hurry. And so I've taken the happy birthday and put it on an acrylic block. So this time I've used an acrylic block with a grid on it. It helps me to line things up and it means that when I come to line it up on the card, I can actually make sure that I've got a straight line where the bottom of the card base is and I've mounted my stamp on a straight line on the grid itself. So hopefully, <laughs> fingers crossed, we should get, whoops, it's no good trying to stamp with the lid is it? it won't get much ink that way. We should get a fairly straight image and I just want to put it there. So I'm lining up one of the lines with the bottom of the card. I'm going to move it over a bit and just pop it in place there. Just hold it down, make sure it takes. Perfect. I am going to heat emboss that. I've got my super fine clear embossing glaze. Quickly do that. Give it some heat. on the ink before I put my thumb in it. Just check that I might need a little bit more glue. Just put some over to one side and use my acrylic tool just to apply it under there and under there. I think. That's it. So no worrying about matting and layering on this card. Straight onto the card blank itself. A little bit of fussy cutting. Some colouring with vivid inks. And there you have it. A simple but pretty card using the floral stamps. Hope you enjoyed that. If you do make anything, we'd love to see it on the I Love Indigo Blue Facebook page. Do share and thank you for watching. Bye.